welcome to our PS Wood Machines studio. I'm Barbara, and before I tell you a little bit about our own scroll saws, I wanted to share with you a sampling of the variety of items that can be made on a scroll saw, such as our fretwork boxes, or baskets, intarsia art, and don't forget about the bigger projects such as dressing up cabinet doors, shelf brackets, picture frames, signs, even dollhouses. You can use a variety of materials. This is an acrylic. If you want to do metal, you need a metal cutting blade. Look at our bird. Who would have thought that came from a small block of wood such as this? And our little 3D animals. With scrolling, you're only limited by your own imagination and creativity. Now let me show you some of the great features of our scroll saws. Our saws have constant tension parallel arms, which means the arms move together and the blade is straight. Some saws have C arms that rock slightly as they move, and the cut is not as straight. With the constant tension parallel arms, you will get a straight up and down cut. Our hold down foot can just swing into place and our flexible air hose provides plenty of air to blow the sawdust away from your scrolling line. Our saws are belt driven. You do your speed change by rolling the belt up and down the pulley. If I want to go slower, I push out on the belt and roll it up a rung. If I want to go faster, I drop it down a rung. If I want to go from one extreme to the other, then I'll move the belt one rung on the bottom. That's all there is to changing the belts on the machine. Some saws are rheostat driven, which means they speed up and slow down a motor, putting drag on a motor or speeding it up. With the PS Wood Machine saw, you get the same power out of the motor all the time. All we're doing with the belt change is changing the speed of the arms. Our saws are made of cast aluminum and come with a steel stand. Our tables tilt 35 degrees one way and 45 the other. Our 21 inch saw has one of the largest tables on the market, which is an advantage when you're working on large projects. Our quick change blade holder is very simple and easy to use. The tension lever just stands up, takes the tension off, goes right back on. To change a blade out, you simply open the black handle, bring the blade holder up from the bottom, put it back in, you go back against the screw, up against the top, tighten the handle, tension lever up, down through the hole in the table, hook it in the bottom arm, and put your tension back on. If you want to do fret work, it's the same process. Everything is done above the table. So you take your fret work piece, find your little hole, put it back in just as before it in and you're set to cut your next cut. Now if you want to change a blade completely, you're going to go to the hole on the side of your machine, use your Allen wrench, open the nut, take your blade out, put your new blade in, go back against the screw, down against the ledge, tighten it in, and we're set to go. If the first time you insert a blade, your tension isn't quite right, you're going to tweak it a little bit with the tension rod in the back. Then. Once you get that set, you should be able to take different blades with different blade holders and go right back to the same tension. Our machines require very little maintenance. Once in a while, the upper and lower barrel washers need to be lubricated. I like a product called Slick 51 Lube, but there are a variety of machine lubricants on the market that you can use. Also, occasionally you're going to undo the handle on the quick change, take the little square, and lay it on a very coarse piece of sandpaper, and just scratch it up. 
you want the inside jaws to stay rough or coarse so that they get a good tight grip on your blade. Simply put the square back on your machine and you're ready to go. Now let's do a little angle cutting. I'm going to tilt my table to approximately three degrees. I'm still using our number five super sharp. dimensional into your projects and you saw how easy it was for me to do those corners using our super sharps but so far I've just been using pine let's straighten our table out first I'm going to make sure the table is 90 degrees to the blade just a little bit of tweak I'm going to leave the number five blade in. Normally for something this thick, I would go to our number seven, but I want to show you even that the five will cut something this thick and you can still get that nice, tight, sharp radius cut. for your interest in our P.S. Wood scroll saws. We pride ourselves on quality products and customer service. Feel free to give us a call or email us at pswood at pswood.com. <laughs>